This episode is like those episodes where you win the sweepstakes to get a new home renovation, but instead we didn't win any sweepstakes and we're remodeling ourselves. And I decided to impulsively stay on Facebook Marketplace and offer up for an hour and a half, send like 20 to 30 messages about tables, chairs, psychiatrists, and then we were able to find an amazing table, a dining table for our house. We were able to find a cool coffee table. We found a cool desk. So... Yeah, basically this vlog is about us tweaking out and just wanting to remodel the whole house. And this is the beauty of living in downtown LA. There is this beautiful, beautiful thing called the alleys. And you can find everything in literally a 15 minute drive. Go pick it up, make it fast. It starts to get rough right here though, not gonna lie. But that's just the way that life goes. That's just the way that LA goes. We're now entering the flower district. Flower district right to your right hand side, but you can't tell because it's... What the hell? That place called Pretty Garbage. That's kind of insane. Honestly, this whole downtown LA sector like doesn't even seem real. I feel so video gamey. But yeah, we're gonna remodel, renovate, and of course, it wouldn't be a video without a challenge. Our last challenge was finding and figuring out what we we're gonna be for Halloween in an hour. And now this challenge is that we have a little party fiesta to go to later on. And that starts at seven, and we like to be early to the function. Like, we don't show up fashionably late. If we do, it's on accident. We're gonna show up fashionably early to make sure that we get food and drinks and get taken care of, and it's not too packed. And then we can still come home and, oh, look, look at all the piñatas. We're now entering the piñata district. We're supposed to go to this Michelin star restaurant for ceviche. I don't know if that's what we're gonna do. We also kind of were craving a little bit of steak because we still need to eat. I want like, steak. 50 grams the protein we're on our health you journey probably need like 30 left bro like you're good no yeah. you didn't finish your shake actually i didn't finish my shake <laughs> like they get really creative with the piñatas here like they have like bouncy balls at the bottom of this cake thing oh yeah we're trying to get to this party by maybe 7 p.m or like at least Start leave the house seven. we gotta be there at 6 40 starts at 7 we gotta be there at 6 40 like that's just for real like i'm when the party starts at 7 i'm gonna be there 20 minutes early so when they have free food i'm the first to get free tacos they have an open bar i'm gonna get my little two drinks in and i'm home by 8 30 or 9 it's like four o'clock right now so that means that we have maybe three hours to remodel our entire home will we get it done in this one episode yes we will okay bye guys Guys, we came to pick up some furniture and we stumbled into like the craziest. You guys see how packed this place is? Look, everywhere I turn, look, it is completely packed. And guess what? They have like, look, Kermit the Frog, $15. This Karomi, $15. Let's see how much this one. $30 for this big Hello Kitty. A, a Betty Boop lunchbox. Oh my God, look, a Barbie doll. Guys, this is insane. Oh my god, they were not lying with- Bro, did I just find a fun dip dress? Oh my god. How does one accumulate so many things? <gasps> Look at this cinnamon roll! I'm like going crazy in here. <gasps> like I'm keeping my composure, but I'm kind of like in shock. I'm literally in shock right now. This goes, like, do you guys see I'm like going deeper? Like I could go deeper this way or I could turn this way and go deeper this way. Oh my, look at these, look at these flowers. I know they sell those at Ikea for hella expensive. Look, oh my God, this is like, this is a forager's wonderland. Like I love stuff. Look at this little strawberry. Oh my god. Well, I'll let you guys know what I end up finding. There's even a picture of a random baby here. Step one was getting an island because we did not have a table for the longest. And step two was getting this L desk, an L desk that Jared has been wanting for a really long time. Our room is a crazy mess right now, but I'm gonna still show it to you guys so it can be a really dramatic before and after. My bang just won't sit proper right now. Hold on. Let me fix my bang. The fact that I could set the DJI down on the table and it's not like the kitchen, like the kitchen thingy is so cool. But we got this side table. We're going to paint it. We have, um, we have a couch there has clothes on it right now. And we have our bed on this side. We have like the desk and stuff. So this will have 
a whole new, whole new situation going on. I'm going to start cleaning things up and then I'll check back in with you guys. As you can see, we have a chaos in here. <laughs> well, well chaos, chaos is not here actually. <laughs> Chaos isn't here, but it's chaotic in here. We're going to move everything around. So I really have to lock in and then I'll come back and update you guys. I just really want to get everything out. So much has changed in our living room, but I didn't vlog the entire day or the night. We stayed up till 3 a.m. reorganizing the room, reorganizing everything. Today was a super heavy day. We spent the entire morning just like going to like city to city, getting things from Facebook Marketplace, offer up. But I am so pleased with the results. I'm gonna show you guys the living room. Now our room is crazy because we have a lot of things to get rid of, but we had to cram it into the room because we're actually having a guest together we're gonna do some pumpkin carving today that's taylor hi taylor hi that's our jujitsu queen i'm gonna show you guys everything let's, let's go look at the table i'm gonna really have a night with my friends and this is what it's looking like we got Tati and adam over there they're in costume and they're killing it if you guys watch rebelde you know kind of niche and then we have jared over there so cutie, look at us. I'm eating a sandwich. I also survived an allergy attack today and really understood yeah. how Jared felt. It's also why I didn't vlog. I was just like, dun, 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 so. Pumpkins we're gonna carve. The kitchen looks beautiful. This looks beautiful. Now, let me show you guys what our living room looks like now. We picked this little gal up today. What did I wanna name her? Gumdrop. I want to name her Gumdrop. We have all our plushies there. We picked this up yesterday. We got this rug today. We like finally put the lamp there. We have all these plushies right here. This has been one of the most exciting things that I've done in a long time. Very exhausting, very time consuming. Money, this, that, but it has been amazing. I'll keep you guys updated when we carve the pumpkins. I think I'm going to do like an alien pumpkin that has like one eye. What do you think about that? I love that. I'm just coming to interrupt you before I forget because I think of something and then like it leaves my mind five seconds later. What is it? I need to book the Airbnb for Miami with your account because my account is cooked. Okay, let's do that. Bye guys. We're at the pumpkin carving ch last challenge and we got everybody locked in. I'm going to show you guys mine and Jared's. Jared and I made this alien one. You guys still have to see it with the lights. Um, I think our biggest competition is Taylor. Yeah. Ooh. This is, this is a lot. She has 3D ears, bro. Like, that's mean, fire. I think this is the least of our worries. Bro, just give it a fucking chance. <laughs> but you never know. Like, with creativity, you never know where you can get. And let's see. Let's see. Miranda. What it, what's going on here? I oh my god. Oh, okay. That's right. What's your inspiration? One of those. You know, the, the S's from back in the day used to. We were going for like lines. Y2K kind of thing. I think this is also partly our competition because it really encompasses them. They're the ones who made this pumpkin and she is coquette. Kicho's going to be the judge, so we'll see what happens. That's us. We have turned down the lights. Look at this. I love ours. Oh my god. I honestly think we have it in the bag, but we'll find out. Like, guys, the chain? The chain? I feel like I won the pumpkin carving contest. You guys in the comments, let me know. Do you think. I feel like I won the pumpkin carving contest. <laughs> Double vlog. Vlog Inception right now. Vlogception, look at her. Way too far apart. People are like, when did this even happen? <laughs> You should go from last and then just go up. Like, who's the worst? Sorry, but the S is the worst. Oh! Oh! All right, take, take the pumpkin out. Take the pumpkin out. Jared was going to be the voter. And What's oh, the next God. worst one? Sheesh. Don't you dare. Keisha, do I, what you got to do. Bye, <laughs> bye, mind's eye. All right, who's getting eliminated? <laughs> no, they, no bribing, no bribing. I'm sorry, but uh, it's looking a little messy. Is what? What? Oh, no! 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 It's Halloween, 
And if you saw my last vlog, I ended off the night in costume, but I started the day in costume, but yes, I showered, got my makeup ready, and we're going to an Adidas party later on at night, but this is the first half of the day where we're gonna go run all of these final errands, and <laughs> look at this man, is he vlogging again? Oh no, he's vlogging again, guys. This is just my good morning to you. We'll see how Halloween goes. I've decided that I'm gonna try to do like Eevee makeup. Like it won't be like like cute girl makeup. It'll be kind of like a little bit like I'll do like the nose and like, you know, like that's the vibe for the day today. Like I wanna kind of go all in. Jared asked me this morning what my favorite costumes have ever been. And my first favorite was one that I didn't get to choose, but I was a Teletubby for my very first Halloween. So I love that one. And then in middle school, I did a best friend costume with my best friend at the time. I wonder how she's doing. I've always wanted to like sit down. Oh God, oh what, oh my God, it's just moving in all types oh, of ways. Uh, there's a setting that you can take off the face track. We're going to Pop Mart. That is part of running errands today because we are obsessed with the little monsters. So we're gonna try to go square one. Oh my God, it keeps zooming in. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, back to my best friend, I, my old best friend. I like would love to have a sit down conversation with her to like really understand certain things. Cause like I have been the type of person in the past where like when things are over, things are over. And I honestly, like I don't need real closure or answers. Like I'm just like, mm, fuck ass shit detected. Like moving on, moving forth. But then like after everything, I had a lot of realizations and I'm like, oh my God, I was so in denial of a lot of things. And I wish I could get answers, but also we're like 24 now. And that was like way back when, where are we going now? It's the toy store. Oh, this is a toy store? There's another one. Oh my God, there's girls out there already. Oh God, they left, they're leaving. Okay, hold on, hold on, let's go to the store. The guy that entered the store before us got the last one. Like they literally restocked and he got the last one. Do you know which one it was? The brown one, bro. Oh my God. We did get a mini one to share and bring into the household. So we're gonna unbox that later. It is a surprise one. So we're gonna, we're gonna look into that. But Jared forgot that his meeting was at 11 and not one. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna see if this is doable, but what I'm thinking is dropping, well, he's driving, but dropping himself off and then me going to Century City and see if I could snag the other one. You guys are not gonna believe what just happened. So Jared goes to his meeting, you know, I go do my own thing, how to run my own couple errands, whatever, we link back up and we decide that we are on this journey to get more of these little guys so yeah we oh look jared unboxed his and he got the one that he wanted it's on my purse right now so we're like okay we're obsessed and now we have to go to the stores because there's gonna be more drops like we're really trying to get the giant one like i told you guys the guy before front of us the guy before us got the big one the big kahuna the one we're really looking for but apparently these are quite rare too you got this one for how much 20 bucks bro and they're reselling for 80 dollars but this is our child like we're keeping them we're not reselling it so we're like, all right, like, let's get deeper into this. Like, let's go see what else. Let's see if the other stores are dropping because all of this is super random. Like, they, well, they drop like a certain day, but you don't know. And there's like people who line up. Like, it's a whole ordeal. It's a whole world that we're just getting welcomed into. So we go to this Pop Mart at a certain mall. As we're at the store, we're asking for the big ones. The girl's like, no, it's not here. Jared's getting more information on like, when do they drop? When does this happen? You know, he's like, he's learning, he's learning. And then she goes like, oh, there's a drop happening right now. And we're like, what? And immediately people start coming in and lining up. So we just get in line too. We don't even know what's going on, what dropped, what the deal is. But we were like, although we were almost like some of the only people in the store, there's like three people that got ahead of us. And then it was us. And then I don't know where I look back and it's a whole line, like almost to the entrance of the store. And we're like, what is happening? And then there's a guy taking like the order, basically like, hey, what are you guys gonna get? And then the people in the front already knew what they were gonna get. And I'm like, Jared, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What drop, what drop, what drop? Did the big ones drop? Did we get the big ones? No, we didn't get the big ones. The big ones did not drop. But we got, look at this purse, okay? This one and there's the brown one. So we got this one and the brown one. 
And then these just dropped. And for example, this one was $43. But it's already reselling for what, like 80? 150? No, 100, $170. $170 for this little guy. And then this one is the Wings of Fortune. And although I'm not a fan of the purple and gold going together, like I'm thinking of changing her outfit, just keeping this outfit. I like that she has wings, like this is so cute. This one was $30, I think, right? 30, 34, something like that. Um, and it's also going for much more than anticipated. So this is crazy. You had a limit of like, there's some that were like one per person, some that's two per person. I don't know, but I look key. I feel like I should have got more bags, but one is enough. Well, and the brown one, but I think, I think we can maybe like, well, we'll see, we'll see. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know. We're figuring it out step by step, all of us together. We're going to make some bath bombs here at Lush. Just stumbled across this on accident. I think this is better than getting candy. So yeah, we're going to do one in one no and cavities. I'm excited. No cavities. This is literally how they make it in, in the, the place. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. There you go. Oh, it's the and whole thing? Yeah, it's literally the whole thing. This is what life I is like about. That sound like that. I love, yeah, yes, yeah. that feeling is so nice. We're gonna go ahead and do the blue one now. All right, good. Oh, there. wow. So you wanna make sure that there's no white left? Yes. How does this look? There's like it's a couple beautiful. little. Yeah. I feel like that's okay, pretty good here. though. I think it looks so good. Thank you You're for sharing. So Next one. gal. Oh, I love this smell. This one's like bubble gummy. Yes. Thank you for assisting me. Oh my God. You're putting in the work. Oh my God, my arm is just like about to fall off. <laughs> this is gonna be your mold right here. Okay. You can kinda see it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with a layer of white. Just how can you see Oh here. yes. You definitely wanna make sure that you leave a little like room. For the eyes, the kinda, eyes. okay. Yeah, because the eyes are the, you know, the w windows to the back of the You're so like right. Okay, so I just so go, go in? Add, yeah, start adding. Ooh, this is so fun. Adding the pressing, so make sure Oh, you press like yes. this? There you go. Open the eyes up, okay. And do the pink. So is the next layer? Pink. Yes, go for it. Okay. Uh huh. Is this is this a good yeah, amount? It's a good amount to start off with. Okay. Do a little bit more. Oh. Beautiful. All right. And now press it down. The more you press it down, the more product you get to. Oh yeah, to working, huh? Yeah. We just finished eating at one of our favorite restaurants, Din Tai Fung. There's Jared. He is done for, as you can see. Yeah, he's done. So we're just wrapping up. I got a couple. I got a honey lemonade boba, and then we got so much food. Ooh. And we got some tea to settle our stomach. Now, we haven't heard that they restocked, but I have a feeling, you know what? I'm not even gonna jinx this, speak on it. It's gonna be a good day. I'll catch you guys once we leave the mall. I'm at the Halloween party and I'm having so much fun. It's open bar and they're giving out steak and it's so cute and I got free shoes and stuff. I'll show you guys once I'm back at home. Bye, I'm gonna go party. Yeah, we're with Internet's favorite food baddie at Dre Goldie on Instagram. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I've had so much steak, so much tuna tartare, and a couple drinks. I think I need one more. It sounds like you're only here for the free food. Is that true? I am a foodie. <laughs> I'm here for the free food too, not gonna lie. Hey, what's your costume? I'm Eevee from Pokemon. Give me one Eevee fact that you know. Eevee is like a dog. I kind of see that. It's like a cat dog. So I was half right. Yeah. Who am I? <laughs> Are you flirting with me? Um, you're Umbreon. <laughs> you're flirting with me. Do I have steak in my teeth? Let me see.